Hey Nat, and welcome to my crib. Ooh. Thanks very much. No worries. Well, it's not my crib, it's my parents' crib. So uh, it's where I'm spending my lockdown at the moment. Um, loving it. That's so nice for you actually to be able to hang out with your family again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I've not spent this much time with them since I've been about 15 years old when I used to live here. So uh, it's nice, no major arguments or anything so far. And being here, my parents, sister, her husband, and uh, my trainer as well. So. He's pretty much part of the family. I've told him he has to call my parents mum and dad now, so. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the kitchen. Let's have a look at the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. This is a great kitchen, by the way. I designed it myself. Did you? Well done. <laughs> Wait, look at the fridge. Here's the fridge. We've just got some fruit. We go through loads of fruit, strawberries, a bit of veg, fruit, loads of veg milk, cheese, yogurt, and then this is like my dad, like all the sauces and spreads and everything that he, he goes through. You make uh, me hungry. Yeah, me too. You do like cooking, don't you? It's been nice doing it with the family. We, we went through a phase probably for six weeks where we had a pizza night where we made our own pizzas. And then at most days I have a, a massive salad. Um, my mum's been really nice to be fair and she's been preparing a lot of it for me because she misses her little baby and uh, she wants to make the most of it while, while I'm here. So she's trying to really spoil me. So she thinks I'll move back here or something over those, so. Well, like your hairy friend in the background there. Which hairy friend? Some sort of cow. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, my mum's got a bit of a thing for cows, I don't know what it is. So we've got this cow image and then we've got some more cows up here as well. So. Right, where next? I'll now take you up to my bedroom. Ooh. So this is not my full time bedroom, it's just the bedroom I have while I'm at my parents. These are probably, you know, the three helmets or my three favourite helmets and which mean the most to me. So this is my F2 championship winning helmet, which got me into Formula One, which obviously is my, my, my Williams helmet here, which I use at Silverstone uh, with the British flag on the side and also one of my Mercedes helmets um, from the first time I drove with them. So, you know, they're pretty special to me. When I'm in bed, I look at those and think, you know, not done too bad so far. So uh, my brother also came back from Thailand with this massive crocodile. Um, carried it all the way in hand luggage on a, a God knows how long, 24 hour long trip back from Thailand for me. So, uh, no, very kind of him. I don't know if it's just because the shot is facing upwards, but it feels like you're just about to whack your head on every door frame. Well, I am. That's, I'm six foot two, so that's what happens in most places I go. And here is the rig. This is where the magic happens. This is where you've now had a hat trick of victories. I don't actually use all these three screens. Um, I've actually got, this is from a Mercedes computer. I had some issues with mine. If people are wondering why I've got a Mercedes logo on my computer. So a uh, little webcam gets to see my ugly little face. Fancy steering wheel. It's pretty, pretty bad boy, to say the least. This, especially this funky little keyboard. Got all the lights on that. Disco keyboard. I love it. Helmet on the side. There's some little Michael Schumacher race suit there. Could not be cuter. Look at your little feet not even touching the ground. I know. F2. When I won the championship, me and Toto, uh, again, when I won the championship, when I first drove the Merc. So the photo here is actually the first time I ever tested a Formula One car in a McLaren. That was exactly Jensen's 2011 uh, Canada winning car. So yeah, great experience and um, good memories. So this is one of me when I was at school, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my siblings don't really appreciate it because I've got photos of me, 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 me. It's a shrine to George, isn't it? Me on the fork truck there with my granddad. Do you remember Werther's Originals? Yeah. I used to call them Sucks, so someone, uh, he buys me Sucks. He comes partin', which is he comes partin'. <laughs> it's apparently what I used to say. That's one of my first ever days in a go-kart, so um, with the exact helmet there. And no front teeth. No front teeth at all. I, mean, I was kissing too many girls, I think, was the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's my first ever day in a go-kart. And then turning it around, I've got a couple of helmets on show. 
Um, got a nice little photo of me and Alex from back in the day. I saw a big fat check behind that for a hundred grand. Oh, yeah. So this is from the McLaren Auto Sport uh, Awards, and I won the award back in 2014, as I mentioned before. And I got this lovely little thing <laughs> that helped. That really helped me a lot, to be honest, with my sort of progressing in my career. It was a stage where I didn't have any backing. I was uh, had a couple of sponsors here and there, but it wasn't easy. And going out and winning that award, winning that money made a huge difference for the following year and gave me the funds to be able to go out racing. And then the following year, I got picked up by Mercedes. So it all sort of happened well. So potentially without that, I wouldn't be here today. And that's my lovely brother and sister. <laughs> I love their style. I'm thank glad you, I'm, thank you for this. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a, a, I don't know what, an 80s kid. That is horrific. There's me from, I must have been five years old or so there. The eyelashes have always been there, haven't they? They've always been there. It's not mascara. I hate to break it to the people. Have you had a daily routine during lockdown? Has it been quite nice to have a bit of structure? Training every morning, every afternoon. We've made a bit of a home gym, made a bit of um, a squat rack, pull up bar. I've also attached like a go kart seat in the, into the squat rack so I can sit in there and my trainer can like pull off my, my head to train my neck. Um, attached the TRX to the ceiling and brought some weights and does the job. All right, Nats, we've had enough of you now. Time to uh, get out of here. Let me get back to business. See you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.